guys this is why y'all just gotta go to yard sales man like you just never really know like what you're gonna end up finding it's freaking insane all today y'all What is good everyone, Decan here today and thank you for tuning in to the retro world. Guys, if y'all are new here, we go video game hunting every Friday morning, 8 a.m. Central Time. We go to pawn shops, thrift stores, yard sales, and essentially we just kind of show you how to find games for cheap. Um, we don't really like to buy stuff on eBay. That's, you know, the majority of this collection you guys see in the background was all from those things that we just mentioned, yard sales and stuff like that. Um, so we definitely stay away from ordering as much as possible. We just want to find stuff cheap. And then I want to learn a lot too. You guys have been teaching me a bunch in the comments. So I appreciate all of y'all. But guys, today's episode, we hit up a bunch of freaking yard sales. And I'm not kidding. We find a bunch of really cool games. So stay tuned. Let's go check it out. Good morning, everybody. Guys, we are on our way to a like community-wide yard sale. So for those of y'all that don't know what that is, basically it's when an entire neighborhood decides to have a yard sale on the same day. Usually we score some pretty cool stuff because there's just so many houses and you know we're asking them if they have games and like Pokemon cards, stuff like that. And almost every single time I've gone to one of these, we find some pretty cool stuff. Now, I'm not trying to overhype it because you just never really know what you're going to find, but I'm pretty excited. So we're about to go hit that up and we're going to take you guys along for the ride. Let's go. All right, guys, there are tons of freaking cars everywhere. Let's see how this goes. How much is this? this stuff and I've got about, it, oh, okay. It is free. Games. Thank you. Do you guys happen to have any like video games, things like that? I don't. Okay. Uh, there was a DS. Oh, no, a kid already grabbed oh, it. Okay. Got, got it. it. Got got you. It. Yeah. He found it. Cool. Thank, Thank you. How much you guys want? Quarter. Okay. okay. All right, guys. So we picked up a couple things at one of the first yard sales we got to go to. Guys, this is like kind of chaotic. There's a bunch of cars here, a bunch of people just walking around, and let's keep going. Okay. This might be what it looks like in your cities, especially if y'all live in bigger cities, but this is not a normal thing for me. <laughs> Crazy. Y'all. We gotta freaking talk. All right, so I'm out of breath, but let me share my mistake so that way we can all learn. I'm sure some of y'all are like, bro, why would you ever do that? But here we are. So we're waiting outside this community sale, which by the way is gated. So no one can get in at 7 a.m. All of us are parked on the side, packed in this little grass area like freaking sardines. Seven o'clock hits, it's like pandemonium. All these cars are just like peeling in. My thought process was this neighborhood's not that big. I'm gonna park in the first area I can see, which is right where I'm at, and I'm just gonna jog <laughs> to the yard sale. There's one luckily right here we go to, we don't really find anything. Um, oh wait, no, excuse me, was this the, anyway, I, I forget which one it is. One of them, we found a freaking Blu-ray player that was free, so I was like, why not? Although part of me was like, great, I'm gonna have to literally like haul this back and forth because I didn't have my car. And then we found that little small soldier's uh, mcdonald's toy for a quarter so guys we've only spent a quarter today and i think we're doing pretty good but i made the mistake of not bringing my car i literally jogged to like the next yard sale and i'm like covered in sweat i get there and it's like you know not really much but let me catch my breath for a second <laughs> point being don't do what i did just park in front of houses like i would have normally done if this was a regular yard sale but guys we all live and learn we make mistakes i'm here to show you all these mistakes so hopefully you guys don't do this anyways there's some more sales in this neighborhood let's go check them out with the car I'm originally 
How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, sir? Doing well. Are you picking up all these games, sir? Uh, I'm was... get these here. Okay. You looking at these two or? No, I didn't good. want to. I have a po I have a poker game too. This one's oh, mine. Cool. Poker game? This is amazing. And then I have an ATV game and a Spider-Man game over here. Okay. First dibs you for you. You don't happen to have any other games by chance, just these? What are you looking for? Nintendo, PlayStation, older okay. stuff mostly. I, um, I have some, but I didn't bring it out. PlayStation, you, oh, the original PS. I, I would take a look at it. If I you, don't want to dig them up uh, today. I got I, you. I've got the original little PS. All right, guys, that one had some games, and there was actually already someone there who had a stack of PSP games. That's what happens, guys, when you make mistakes. But I did give my phone number to the owner, and he said he has a PlayStation somewhere with some games. Fingers crossed that that pans out. We'll see. Y'all, fingers oh, crossed. Hey, Ryan, Are you sure? Today's your lucky day. Hey, man, I'll, I'll take whatever. No. Oh, awesome. So, like, old PC games? Uh, okay. Like computer games? Uh, those are all, uh, cool. what, Xbox or something? Something. I yeah, I think they're just, like, old, like, computer games, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like PC. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Hey, thanks for getting there them out of the trash. Go. There wasn't anything else, was there? Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> Thank no. you so much. You're welcome, young man. Guys, we just scored these for free. They said they threw them away last night. Yo, we'll talk about this in a little while. Guys, today is freaking weird. You don't go to just a bunch of yard sales and walk away with spending nothing and getting a bunch of free stuff. But today, that's what's been happening. So the story is, I go and ask, you know, I'm not gonna show y'all that I'm asking if they have games at every sale. They get super old and, you know, I'm not trying to be overly repetitive with that. But I still ask anyways. And he goes, oh man, last night we just threw away a bunch of stuff. And I'm like, threw away? And he's like, yeah. There was some damaged packages and stuff like that. No one was playing them. We just tossed them. And I'm like, hey, if they're still in the trash can, like, I'll go dig them out for you if you don't mind. He's like, oh, we'll go look for them. He opens up the trash can. Literally, I guess on top of the trash can, he has all these, like, random PC games. I didn't know what it was going to be. He pulls them out. I'm like, oh, those are, like, computer games. But they're like, you can just have them. Like, if we find them in the trash, you can literally just have them. So I was like, are you sure? And he's like, yes. So, guys, we spent a quarter today on a mcdonald's toy everything else has been free so this is kind of unheard of at least for me guys there's some more sales fingers crossed let's keep going video games mm, i got some old videos but i don't know where video. they are oh they're they're video not like games though uh, okay video. i collect all the old stuff so i'm always yeah. looking for it okay guys another sale that actually might be the last one of this neighborhood wide sale honestly i thought it was going to be like every house had a yard sale but Sometimes it's like that. You go to these and there's not as many for some reason. Um, I asked them if they had games and they're like, no, we don't. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. I'm always looking for that type of stuff. You know, I collect it. And they're like, oh, we can tell by your shirt. And I looked down because I forgot what shirt I was wearing. Of course, I put on my Mario shirt. Now, I know some of y'all are like, hey, you got to have a good poker face when you're out here getting these deals. You know, you don't, you don't want to be wearing anything like that that lets them know like you're looking for games. But guys... That takes like the fun out of it. Like I'm just here to have a good time. I'm going to be smiling while I'm asking for games. My face will almost always light up if it's something crazy. And what are they going to do? They're going to like change their price last second. Like I've never really had people do that to me. I think they can tell I'm like genuinely stoked to like get video games. So just be real with people. Anyways, let's keep going. Guys, little update. So turns out there's not just one like community wide yard sale today. There's actually a freaking second one, which is like unheard of for my town. Guys, I do not live in a big city by any means. I'm sure with some of y'all, this could be a normal thing. Like this could be an every Saturday for some of you guys. But for me, even just one community yard sale, like that's not normal. So maybe it's starting to become a normal thing here. I don't know, but the other one starts in about 20 minutes. And funny enough, it's literally about 20 minutes away. I'm sure like everyone from this community sale is headed to that one, but we're gonna ask every you know every house they have games and hopefully make some contacts and you know maybe we'll find some stuff you know it'd be cool to find some other like toys like action figures collectibles like not just video games too but you know all types of stuff anyways i'm done rambling let's keep going good morning good morning okay so just kept stuff okay hey no problem stuff. i got gotcha. you thank you all dvds and stuff too or is it kind of mixed Okay. I'll look through them and see. Uh, okay, no problem. And these are all a dollar each. Okay. I'll look through and see what y'all got. Uh, I think I got some of these already. I got a room full of this stuff, so I'm always collecting them, but you keep coming across the same games you already have at some point. <laughs> Hey, 
I think I found a couple that we'll pick up. We'll keep looking though. See if this is a game. Oh, sick. All right, guys, I'm stoked. Just because we found some pretty decent games, uh, we spent $2 a piece on those, and I'm about to get out of the car already because there's another yard sale. How you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Y'all happen to have any other types of games or just this stuff right here? Just that right now. Okay. We haven't. No Nintendos laying around that you're looking to sell? <laughs> uh, my husband just left, so I don't know what's up there. Okay. Um, he'll nope. be back later. Okay, I'll try, I'll try to swing by. Cool. Yeah. Find anything? Okay. You mind if I just look? Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it out. Just see what we got here. I'll put it on the ground. Oh, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, whatever you got to do. So just family feud? I just had, yeah. So I only want like 10 bucks. So I got two. I'll give you 10 bucks for all this. When I deployed, I bought this and took it with me. Okay. So now having two, my son playing. I don't really, I just, when you said games, I'm like, yeah. I'll give you 10 bucks. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no worries. This is embarrassing. Guys, the power of an ask. Uh, this dude came out. He was like, games? Yeah, I got some of those. Um, came, went, went inside the house. Oh, some plants. <laughs> anyway, sorry. He went inside the house. He came out with a Wii. He said 10 bucks. I said, that's fine with me. So, all right, guys. Sorry about the beep. Let's keep going. And this is my mom. Okay. I didn't know who he was. Do you remember? Don't I didn't know who he was. Okay. So it's just old, like older games and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So those are like kind of the new, new old controllers. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Let's see what else we got. There's a computer. So we got some Sega games. It looks like. Yeah. Okay. Did he? Yeah, that's okay. I'll take a look at the games though. How much? You know, is there a price in mind per game or for the everything or? Okay. Did you, ma'am? Oh, we'll ask her in a second. Looks like she's busy. You like games? Yeah, I, I kind of collect a lot of this stuff. So, you know, if it's a game I'm interested, you know, I'll probably be picking it up. But, well, I guess it depends on some games might be missing too, huh? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's I don't cool. know. It's just. Yeah, that one's in there. Let's see. Oh, th there's. Th it looks like there's some. So Sonic. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, there, it looks like they're down at the bottom. Cool. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if y'all have a price in mind for everything, I might just, you know, and the stuff I don't want, I'll just give to friends or trade off or something, you know. Yeah, let's see that. Cool. And the Sega's down at the bottom. I get, who do we need to ask? How much do you guys want for just all the gaming stuff? Do you have a price in mind? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. No problem, guys. Thank you for pulling this stuff out. Hey, I'm, I'm here to collect it. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, I love the old stuff. It's so much fun to see. There's Golden Axe. So. Nice. Oh, that's sick. I don't even have this yet. Alright guys, they're going to find out how much, so be right back. Well, not the laptops. Oh yeah, no, you can you can hold on to the laptops. I'm more interested in the video games. Um, yeah, so, sorry if you woke you up. No, so, <laughs> not, um, so this right here doesn't go with it. This, this yeah, is, no, this. those look kind of look like controllers and stuff. More so just this stuff, I guess. Yeah, this was, um, my brother bought this one. Before. I gotcha. The Sega Genesis stuff, I mean, probably 20 bucks. I love it. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. And then, did you have a, do you know if the, the consoles work, like this PS2, or is it kind of... Yeah, kinda, they did. I don't, it's I don't, kind of taking a gamble on it? Yeah, I don't. I really don't know. They okay. did when they were put up, but they haven't been played in okay. years. Okay, I'll definitely do 20 for the Sega stuff. Do you want to do, like, another 10 for the, the PS2 and whatnot, or...? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so 30, 30 total. Cool. Okay, here. Yeah, let me go and square away with you, and then... Just give it to her. Okay, will do. Thank you for the deal, guys. I appreciate that. Anyway. Guys, this is why y'all ask if they have games. Look at this, y'all. Freaking Sega 
got a PS2. Like, I'm way more excited about this Sega stuff, but look at this, man. Oh my God, let's go. Y'all, this is why y'all gotta go to yard sales. Oh my God, like, they pulled out the freaking Sega Genesis, like, jackpot. Like, I, I don't really see Sega stuff that much. So that was really, really cool to see. And especially like, oh, hold on, we got a tub somewhere. Like, that's like, I think my favorite part. It's just something about like that feeling when you don't know what's gonna be in that tub, but they said there is a tub of games. <sighs> Y'all, amazing score, amazing find. Let's keep going. Coming off, man. Because of the way it was fastened underneath. Yeah. And I found that darn thing in a tree about four houses down. Oh, God. But they totaled the truck because they were going to have to replace the bed and uh, put a big dent in the roof as it blew over. Right. So they totaled my truck out. Stuff here. Oh, nice. I see these games over here. Do you guys happen to have anyone, uh, any others by chance, or? Uh, somebody had bought some this morning. Ah, uh, okay. You had you had other ones though. I gotcha. Oh, I think I see maybe some over here. No, they're empty cases. Uh, do you know what you're doing with them? I, I might be a, a dollar for all of them. Hey. I know a lot of people have the cartridge. Yeah, you know, I was gonna say I'm, I'm, I'll probably complete some of these. Yeah, right. I'll do a dollar for these. That's awesome. Yeah. We'll see if we got anything else before we I've make got, a deal. I have those cartridges, but I, my daughter has them in a case somewhere. Gotcha. Is that something? They're, they're still playing them. I'm, sh I'm assuming not the game. That, not that machine. Oh, do you, do you want to see I've, if you can? I, I have no idea where. Ah, uh, okay. They're probably just lost, maybe. <laughs> yeah, they could be. I, I had moved two houses into this house. I, I gotcha. Okay. And I had just started to get through it. I gotcha, man. Cool. Yeah, I'll definitely get these. Y'all, we got these for a dollar. Let's freaking go. Dang. Oh. Look at that Harley Davidson Monopoly. That's it. make little videos when I go to yard sales so I always like to show you. that's cool yeah. are you collecting this stuff or well I'm collecting one set and I was gonna sell the other ones but I got gotcha. you they're pretty neat man you really get them down through. Oh. I'm sure somebody would be after them honestly this yeah. stuff is cool I just at this point I have like a room full of stuff so like I try to be very picky with mm -hmm. what I pick up but I'm sure somebody would be interested in this so guys I just wanted to touch base with y'all this is like what I love about the community sales because I've only gone to a few like ever like I said this isn't a normal thing in my area the other one we went to today was just chaos and there weren't that many yard sales but this one there's so many sales like I'm not even able to record all of them just you know because that's just how it goes we're about to stop at another one all right guys well, let's keep going mm, it's not too bad two bucks so we got infinity. Guys, I feel like I should be getting this stuff, but I don't know. but I might leave it for someone else. Go check out the rest of the cold shack. See the other yard sale. Yeah. Um, how long, um, you guys happen to have any other games for sale by chance? Or? Yeah, I don't even know what's all in Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know if maybe there was some laying in the house somewhere. Or, you know. I I gotcha. Yeah, I collect all the old stuff, so I'm always looking for it. Hey man, when the when the great blackout occurs. Little Star Wars book. Guys, y'all can't really see these, but maybe you can tell what they are. <laughs> we picked up two Pokemon blankets for a dollar a piece. Let's go. All kinds of games nice. that, like old games in there. Yeah, I'll definitely take a look. Ooh. 
I make videos for YouTube too. I hope you don't mind. I won't put your faces in it or anything like that. Oh, my daughter does that too. She oh. goes, I just went, let me show you my haul. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's it's kind of similar. <laughs> you guys got a price in mind just for everything? All right, well, I guess we should probably check and see the game. Yeah, I'm sure the games are in oh, there. Oh, no, they're in there. Okay. It's theater. Yeah, I mean, you got, are these yours or? Yeah. Okay. You got a price in mind if I was just to get it all? Uh, I'll sort through it later when I get to the house, but. Oh, there you go. 25 for the whole box? I could definitely do that for sure. Yeah, no problem. Here, I'll go and just put it all back in and I'll square away with you. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, I'll pick this up too. Oh my freaking God, y'all. Almost every, okay, I can't even say almost every yard sale has had games, but there's been like boxes of games at multiple yard sales i always ask how much they want they give me a price in this case 25 bucks for that giant box of ps2 games and there's some good ones in there especially games that i don't have so today is freaking absolutely amazing and i'm stoked that i get to bring you guys along for the ride i think there might be another sale or two but after this we're gonna head back to the house guys i'm not kidding my entire car at this point is like full of freaking stuff right now this is wild Shave your own back. Dang, I probably use that. What is this? Oh, is this a. Is this a Star Wars blanket? That's pretty cool. Okay. How much do you guys want for the blanket? <laughs> Hey, that's your blanket. Star Wars, I think. Yeah, yeah, sure is. That's cool. How much are you guys looking for it? Uh, two bucks. Okay. What's this one? Just another it's random. A fall blanket. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably do that. You guys have any old like video games by chance you're looking to sell? Nothing like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get you two bucks. Guys, I'm just genuinely happy today. Like the weather is nice. We got a car full of like cool stuff, and we keep finding blankets. So the blankets, although. I kind of want to keep them for myself. They're going to be gifts. Uh, we got two Pokemon blankets and then we got a Star Wars blanket. So definitely going to be gifts for like family members and whatnot. But guys, that's actually the end of like this area that I'm in. Like I think we hit up every single yard sale. Um, and honestly, like there's probably a lot more like closer to town and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm not really like super pressed for time right now, but I'm definitely like... I'm good. Like y'all let me know if you hit up a bunch of sales and like have an amazing day and you're like, you know what? I'm good. Like I don't need to go to all of them. Like let's let other resellers and collectors go out there and score some stuff because there's still plenty more to go around for everyone. Um, but yeah, we're going to get back to the house and <laughs> we're going to take an up close look at everything. Y'all, I appreciate it if you guys are still watching this video, you know, could have been like two or three episodes, I feel like, but it's just going to be one giant special yard sale day so all right guys let's get back to the house all righty guys we are back at the house today was freaking crazy let's take an up close look at everything we picked up all right guys first things first i think this was actually the very first thing we picked up we see this at a yard sale it's marked free and i didn't know if it actually was i went up and talked to the owner i was like hey how much is this he looked down at the box he looked up at me and he smiled and he was like it's free and i was like oh okay well thank you very much and then we saw this little tub of these little mcdonald's toys over here and i saw small soldiers and i got excited so i freaking loved this growing up and then i turned it around and i'm like okay cool looks like a interesting little figure um this might be a little gift or something we'll see but guys this was a quarter so pretty much the first yard sale we spent one quarter let's take a look at the rest all right guys one of the other scores today was the free games that were thrown away in the trash can uh you guys remember we asked uh the couple that was there and they were like oh we just threw some games away and my heart freaking dropped i was like what <laughs> <laughs> then they dug these games out of the trash and they were like you can just have them so kind of cool we got some pc games we got soldier of fortune 2 it looks like and or 
double helix i don't know i don't know what what the name of this game is oh there we go it is soldier of fortune 2 double helix and then we have black hawk down we got rainbow six three and we've got command and conquer that's pretty cool and guys we got this like big box pc game joint strike what is that fighter or flight i don't know joint strike oh yeah joint strike fighter so kind of cool to see the old tag on these things somebody spent three dollars and 34 cents on this and guys if any of this stuff was worth anything i probably already threw it up on the screen but guys either way it's just cool because this stuff was free so always ask if they got games and next up these were actually priced at two dollars a piece so we have kirby's epic yarn i did double check to make sure the disc is in there uh we have transformers revenge of the fallen i can't remember if we picked this one up recently i need to double check i know we did pick up one or maybe two different transformers games uh so i'll have to check but i mean i figured two bucks for this why not uh guys we got sonic free riders i've never seen this game before for the xbox 360 so picked it up on a whim figured two bucks can't go wrong and then we have Turbo Super Stunt Squad. I feel like this same game is on the Wii U and maybe the Wii U version is worth a lot or something. I could be completely wrong. Uh, Y'all drop a comment and let me know. But guys, not bad for $8 at, you know, just a quick yard sale. All right, guys, we kind of took our chance with this. This was a bunch of Disney Infinity figures. They had it for 10 and I was like, hey, are you negotiable? And they said, yeah. I was like, would you take five? And they said, yes. So I figured five bucks, even if none of these are really worth anything at all. They're honestly like some of these are kind of cool in terms of just figures. Um, not super like not like really, really my thing, but I don't know like the details aren't horrible so maybe i'll end up keeping a couple of these i don't know we'll see um but yeah i have no idea if any of these are really worth much or anything like that um, but if y'all see anything right now that catches your eye uh, you guys let me know this is definitely going to be one of those things where i just have to research a bunch when i have a little extra time for that so pretty cool though for five bucks okay guys and this was another power of the ask i asked them if they had any games they said they have a wii with a bunch of games inside turns out they didn't really have a bunch of games they did have family feud and i haven't checked to see if there's anything in the console yet so maybe we'll get lucky later i'm not exactly sure but we do have a couple of wii remotes which these are always good to have they always come in handy we got a couple of nunchucks in here and i think that's it other than just the cables but guys i mean this was really cheap so why not guys we're going to talk about this just because i have this right next to me we're going to talk about the other stuff we got at this same yard sale here in a minute um so the other part of this deal was that giant box of ps2 games we got that for 25 bucks and then they pulled this out and they were like you know just give us an offer and i was like would you take an extra five and they were like yeah sure so we just picked this up on a whim i actually had this same one a long time ago and I bought this like brand new when it was in the store. I saw it, I was like, oh sick, let me get that. I wanna say I spent about 40 bucks on it a long time ago. And I don't know if it was the controllers or what, but something about this, I just did not like, I was not a fan. Uh, but I am glad that Sega went in and did their own version of the mini console finally, cause these ones, they just weren't as good for some reason. So still though, not bad. I mean, five bucks, we're, we're not complaining about that. Let's keep looking. All right, guys. So this was like all the extra stuff that came with that one crazy Sega bundle. So we got a Sega in here. I think we had the attachment for it too. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're just gonna show you a couple of things because a lot of the stuff in here is just like cables and whatnot. Um, look at this. We got the 32X attachment. Yo, I thought this was sick. I do not have this, so this is really, really cool to me. Um, and there's a couple of 32X games as well, so I thought that was really sick. Um, but down here, what else we got? Uh, oh, this also came with a PS2, so. Whew, there we go. We got a PS2 with this bundle, and I thought that was freaking amazing. And now y'all get to see a little bit of the games in the background, whoops but yeah all right guys y'all know it's always all about the games here so we got miss pac-man we got the jungle book we got monopoly uh we got Vir virtue racing and that's for the 32x which is sick we got doom for the 32x 
We have Vector Man, which is awesome. I did not have this one yet, so I'm stoked on that. Uh, we got Toy Story. Uh, we have Golden Axe. I think I already have this game too, so this will be a double for me. And then we have Sonic Spinball. And then guys, we got more. Okay guys, we're just gonna take a look at these one by one. Now some of these game, or excuse me, some of these boxes were just gonna be empty because y'all already saw some of the games. I'll have to go through and organize everything, but for the, just the sake of filming this right now, we'll just go through it all. Uh, we got The Lion King. We got Happy Feet for PS2. We got Marvel Ultimate Alliance, PS2. And, oh, a couple more PS2 games. So we have Crash Twin Sanity. We got Avatar. We got PGA Tour 96. Madden 95. Star Wars, the video game. I think this one actually got mixed in with this lot. I think this was from a whole nother deal from today, but... Oh, well, y'all are seeing it now. Not a big deal. Uh, we got Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We have Golden Axe, and this one is empty, so that makes sense. The game is over there. I'm sure some of these are the same. I got Sonic the Hedgehog. We got Sonic the Hedgehog again. These actually feel like there are games in there, so I guess we have extra copies. That's awesome. We got Mortal Kombat. We got Greatest Heavyweights. Y'all, I'm just stoked to add some new Sega games to the collection. We were just talking about this recently. We got Jurassic Park. And then we have Cliffhanger. So pretty freaking stoked, honestly. Like super stoked. Okay, guys, real quick. I don't even know if we mentioned it, but the Sega stuff was $20. Like for the entire bundle with the Sega console with the 32X, 20 freaking bucks. Absolutely insane. Then they had that fat PS2 as well. And we did another $10 for that. So $30 all in all for that stuff absolutely crazy alrighty guys and this was at another yard sale today and they were like oh there's no games in there and i was like oh that's fine like are you looking to get rid of this stuff still they go how about a dollar for all of them <laughs> so a dollar for all of these um i haven't double checked yet but they all feel like there's the manual inside them they feel heavy so we'll, we'll check them out in a little bit but we got mario kart ds we got phineas and ferb uh mario kart ds double and then here we go we got pokemon diamond and the case is looking pretty nice we got the littlest pet shop okay <laughs> we got pets nursery too i might use some of these cases to uh, replace ones that are pretty beat up because these are all pretty pretty nice oops and then we have wreck it ralph guys not bad for a dollar okay guys and this was that other freaking crazy yard sale find they haul out this box of games the lady was like, oh, I completely forgot about them. They were like hiding behind a van or something. Um, and she's like, yeah, I forgot to set those out there. And I was just like, wow, I'm glad, you know, I asked them if they had video games. Because if not, I would have never seen any of this stuff. Um, so we were looking through. I'm kind of looking through the games. I'm like, how much do you guys want for all of it? And they're just like 25 bucks. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like deal. So 25 bucks for everything we're about to dive into real quick. Um, and then this was that same deal. Sorry, it's a little bit out of order today, guys. Um, but this was that same deal where we added this on right here for an additional five. So 30 bucks once again for that. So crazy. All right, guys, we got a controller here and just looks like a power adapter. Nothing crazy. We got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Conflict Desert Storm, Ace Combat 5. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, we got Black, we've got Need for Speed Underground, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Lights, Camera, and Pants, SpongeBob SquarePants, MX vs. ATV, Star Wars 2, Call of Duty 2 Special Edition, Big Red One. I've actually never seen this, like that Special Edition, so that's kind of cool. Let's uh, make some more room down here. It's getting kind of crazy already. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, and oh, okay. So this is the game I thought was in another box. So I guess we just have another Star Wars Lego game. Cool, cool, cool. Medal of Honor, Rock Band, ooh, Driver 3. I don't have that one. And I don't have this one either. So we got Gladius. Let's see, let's try to do this a little faster. Call of Duty, World at War. What was this one? Mercenaries. 
ratchet and clank guys this is like crazy didn't even like look through everything either nascar Ooh, dark cloud yes i remember seeing this one so let's hope it's in there yeah it is now honestly all these games feel pretty heavy uh before i plug things into price charting we'll find out um you know if we're missing anything but i don't know why i had to check that one but <laughs> ncaa 08 we have goblin commander and we have Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. That's awesome. Oh my god, guys. It just keeps freaking going. Black Hawk Down. ATV Off-Road Fury. Unknown. What is this one? Oh, we'll go look at that in a second. 007. Pirates of the Caribbean. And, ooh, Tack. The Staff of Dreams. Tack 2. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one yet. Let's see if there's some mystery game in here. What is this one? EA Sports, Andretti, or Andretti Racing. Honestly, a lot of this stuff is going to end up going to my local game store. I do not have the time to go through everything and put everything on, that I don't have on eBay. There's just, look, there's too much at this point. So this a lot of this will be like a trip to uh, the local game store, but we'll see. Medal of Honor, Desert Storm 2, SOCOM 3, it keeps going what's this one star wars episode three okay brothers in arms call of duty three so okay a lot of like war and like fighting and shooter type games that's cool though I'll look at that in a second hummer badlands drag racing two call of duty finest hour and honestly some of these cases i'll end up saving so that way i can use to upgrade some of the cases i already have that are beat up uh, so keep that in mind when you get games you don't really care about too much uh super trucks racing and okay so here's the ps2 slim and oh so mercenaries 2 is in here okay cool 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 what else we got ah there's more we got a memory card Ooh, we dropped something. All right, we got Destroy All Humans. We actually picked up the sequel to this. We didn't have the first one, though, so that's awesome. We got Ford Mustang, and we have Medal of Honor European Assault. And let's see what we got here. So could just be some of the games missing from cases. We'll have to double check. Y'all, a lot of this stuff, I don't know if I'm going to put in the price charting. <laughs> there's, there's too much. <laughs> there is too freaking much so we'll see we'll see how that goes wheel of fortune second edition atari anthology that's kind of cool i love those like anthologies and collections and stuff like that all right guys we got a problem in this room but this is why you go to yard sales man all right guys first screen with some sega stuff we're looking at 116 dollars and 51 cents now both copies of sonic the hedgehog that i actually put in are complete with the manual but for some reason when i pick uh excuse me for, for some reason when i pick cib it changes the price to 42 dollars. there is no way that game cib is worth 42 dollars. so i'm just gonna mark this as loose all right, let's look at the next screen. All right, guys, more Sega stuff. Looking at $84.35. The most notable stuff on here is those two Sega 32X games. Honestly, just really stoked to see those, especially out in the wild. First time coming across anything 32X related, so pretty sick. All right, guys, and this is the, uh, the two consoles that came with. There's actually another Sega, but... It looks like it's kind of busted based on like some of the plastic coming out or some of the metal. Um, but anyway, so we're not going to count that, but we are looking at these two, 163. So the PS2, and this is assuming these things work. Guys, that 32X unit is saying it's worth $118. I've personally never looked one of those up, so I have no idea if this is like way off or not. But if that's the case, that is absolutely insane. It's definitely a collection piece anyways, and then now I can play 32X games if I find more, but freaking wild, yo. All right, guys, and we're looking at a total of 159.41. The most notable stuff on here is the PS2 Slim, um, and then Tony Hawk's Underground, and then Dark Cloud. Guys, I'm not plugging everything into price charting, but I am gonna select a few of like the better games, so. Let's take a look at the next screen. All right, guys, we loaded up another 10 into price charting, looking at 97.58. 
most notable thing on here looks like that Gladius game, but then also the Scooby-Doo game. I think we're gonna plug in a couple more things and that's gonna be it. All right, guys, just kidding. There's a bunch of games that I feel like are just kind of common titles. Games that are probably worth like three to like seven, maybe even up to like $9. Um, there's a lot of these games that I'm not plugging into price charting, but just wanted to give you all a heads up. There's a lot of work to do. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that is going to be it for today's episode. There is definitely a lot of cleaning, um, a lot of testing, and just a lot to go through. Uh, for example, there's just like stuff like this. Like we got Pokemon, Diamond version. This is just the case and the manual only. We didn't throw this in a price charting because we really can't, but you guys know stuff like this usually holds decent value. Guys, today was freaking crazy. But yeah, like an amazing day. Guys, I want y'all to let me know. First of all, let me know if I missed something because I love hearing from y'all. Go back and just like drop a comment. Let me know if we missed something that we should have picked up. There was tons of random stuff at these yard sales and I definitely don't know about a lot of it. So y'all let me know. Also, let me know what your favorite thing was. My favorite thing was this Sega Genesis 32X adapter just because I've never seen this and this is just really, really cool and it's definitely going to the collection and hopefully we find some more 32X games down the road. Uh, this will probably kind of kickstart that. So guys, until next time, I appreciate all of y'all. Peace.